Hey everybody, it's Steve. Um, today I'm going to do something a little unusual. Uh, I'm going to give my testimony um, how I got to uh, how I started teaching, how I came to start teaching God's Word. I think it's important that that everybody have their testimony ready and available and practiced because it's one of the most powerful things that you can do in witnessing to people is tell them what God is doing in your life. And this is certainly um, a journey that, that, that I've had with God, and I, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased to share it with people. Um, it happened like this. I'm in Sunday school. I'm sorry, I'm in church. Um, and in a church service, and Pastor Sally and Izzy is giving the announcements. Um, and yeah, we don't always... <laughs> We don't always exactly listen to the announcements. Um, um, and he says, we, um, we need some adult Sunday school teachers. And I just ignored that because I can't do that. Um, I've got a debilitating fear of public speaking. Um, and I just, I just, I can't stand up if I were to stand up and even just to say a prayer, um, uh, I, I, get, I, I get shaky, um, the, my vision kind of comes in, you know, you get that black at the corner of your vision and you go, oh, I'm going to pass out, so I better sit down, that type of thing. So, uh, so I had that going on, and so I just, uh, I just didn't pay attention. <laughs> so next week, Pastor, he's doing the announcements, and he says, um, um, we need some assistant Sunday school teachers, and I got ready to ignore that, and I felt a poke. And I've tried for years to really quantify that, and the best I got is it felt kind of like a sharp pencil, but not really. I mean, I don't know. I just, I felt something. Um, but I still ignored it <laughs> because I can't do this. I can't do that job. So um, a week went by, came back the next week. Uh, we need some assistant Sunday school teachers. Poke. I've been in church long enough, I know what this is. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared. So, I'm trying to get out of this the best I can, so I, I use my next technique for not doing something. I'm gonna tell it to my wife, because my wife has a long history of turning down the very bright ideas that I have. Uh, you know, I might be sitting on the couch and telling her you know, about this plan that I have for the future and how we might do this, we might do that, and then she'll just quietly look at me and go, I don't think so. Or, you know, I'll tell her that maybe we could do this thing over here and we could put this together and she'll say, no. So I knew what was going to happen. I would just present this. So I took this to my wife. Um, I said to her, honey, I think God is leading me to be an assistant Sunday school teacher and she said I think that's a good idea <laughs> why don't you tell the pastor and I go no oh heavens so I told the pastor I went into pastor Eunice's office I said uh, I, I've got this thing going on and uh, he said well, I, well here's what you should do you should go into the Sunday school teachers meeting and see what happens so I have a plan I'm still, I'm still not all that excited about this, so I sneak in the back door of the Sunday school, of the um, Sunday school teachers meeting, and I sit down in the back row, and I don't talk to anybody, don't look anybody in the eye. As soon as the meeting's over, I get up and I leave, I'm out of there. Uh, I think I'm being pretty successful at this. Three, four weeks go by. Um, and then, on one day, two people asked me. So Pastor Yanizzi asked me in the morning, um, would I consider being an assistant in the Sunday school class that Penny and I currently attended was taught by my dear friend, Steve Pennington. Um, and then later on in the afternoon, Steve asked me the same thing. <clears throat> Does anybody smell collusion? <laughs> so Steve asked me, and I'd had some time to reflect, so I said, Steve, I can't. I mean, I love you, but I can't, I, I can't stand up. I can't, I can't do that job. I, I, I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> Um, he said, and he said something that was remarkable. He said, brother, I got your back. Um, and I really can't express to you how those words warmed me, how they made me feel better because I, I believed him and I trusted him. So I said, okay. Uh, he asked me after a little bit if I would uh, consider doing the prayer requests to start the, the lesson. And so I said, okay, but I can't. He said, ah, phew. 
sit right there. No, not a problem. Don't get up. So from my chair, I took prayer requests and I prayed. I was okay with that. The next week I tried standing up and I didn't die. So I think the next week I went up to the podium and I did prayer requests and I got comfortable doing this job. It wasn't scary. I love all these people that are sitting here. We're close friends. So it was okay. I got through it. And then one week he said, I'm going hunting. Would you fill in for me in class? And oh, no. So I prepared and I taught a class. <laughs> I made it like 15 minutes. <laughs> and these dear people, they lied, told me I was good. God bless every one of them. I got through it. And then a couple months later, he asked me to teach again. And this time I knew it was coming. So I had been for months preparing a lesson and memorizing it and going over it so that I, you know, I could actually go 30 minutes <laughs> and it was okay. And I did that a couple more times. And at one point, Pastor Yunizzi said, there's an opening teaching the couples, the younger couples class. Would I consider teaching that class? And I said, oh, Okay. Um, and that's how I got to where I'm standing here. Um, and I'm, I praise God for everything that he's done in my life and that he is continuing to do in my life. Thank you for your time. <laughs>